is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are finishing up AEW Unmatched Collection Series number two with our final two figures in the set, Ortiz and Santana, proud and powerful, LAX, whatever you want to call them. They're looking pretty damn good, man. I'm actually really excited for these and the details that we're getting with these. I'm really, really excited for them. We're going to get into all those different things, man. But if you guys would like to grab these before we even dive into the review, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. Do not miss out on all the great stuff, man. You definitely don't want to miss out on it. They even have their Black Friday sale going on. Use code MDTOYS. Do not use code free ship. It takes forever to ship, man. Use code MD Toys, use priority shipping, get that shipping for free, and it will be good stuff. But here we are, man. You guys can see here on the front of the packaging, you got Ortiz, you got Santana. You, of course, have their names down the side, as we know. Unmatched Collection features the silver foil over the gold foil from the Unrivaled Collection. And as we spin it around, you do have Ortiz and Santana over here, 10 and 11. I'm not going to flip it, so we're just going to have to build a bridge. On the back, you got Ortiz, powerful. You got Santana, proud. You got both of them there. Rest of the figures in the wave, which we've already reviewed. On the other side, you get the AEW logo, and that pretty much wraps up our packaging for these guys, man. Looking pretty dead gum good. I'm, I'm pretty excited for them, but with all that being said, man, let's go ahead and crack these guys out of their packaging and find out all the details of the proud and powerful Santana and Ortiz, and let's get it started. So here are the proud and powerful out of their packaging, Santana and Ortiz. Loving the camo design that we have going on, man. Can't wait to dive into that with you and check out all those different things. But it's pretty interesting to see how much these guys have differed compared to their other figures, which we're going to get into. It kind of showcases the, the kind of progression that we've seen from AEW as a whole. And it's kind of cool to see that unfold here in the figure lines as well, man, as we approach and as we get deeper into AEW history. So do the figures, man. It's pretty cool to see. But if you guys like what you see here, again, go over to ringside collectibles wrestlingfigures.com use promo code MD toys but how we're going to do this since they are a tag team we are going to be taking a closer look at their accessories up close and then we will do a better job and dive into the figures themselves so we're going to start off with their accessories cover those together and then we will cover their figures together and get into these comparisons so let's do that and dive into the proud and powerful's accessories that they come with an unmatched collection series number two so for San Antana and Ortiz's accessories man you get two interchangeable head skulls for each and two pairs of interchangeable hands and it's kind of interesting because out of the packaging Santana is wearing his gloves and his bare hands are his interchangeable ones and then for Ortiz it is quite the opposite but both of them have their I want to say their yelling expression Ortiz has his yelling expression in the packaging and then Santana has his straight face in the packaging so it's kind of like a back and forth there but getting into Ortiz's first here's the first head sculpt this is his interchangeable one here and you guys can see it's kind of like just a crazed head sculpt. You guys know that Ortiz is crazy, man. He'll he'll come at you and he will murder you. I think this does a good job of showing how insane he is, man. I like the teal headband going on. I think the likeness is totally there. I don't have an issue with it. I think all the head sculpts we've gotten for Ortiz and Santana have been good so far. I really like the texturing with this hair. I like all the details you got going on with it. Beard looks nice. The colors look good. This is a nice Ortiz head sculpt. And then his other one is this one right here, which is going to be his tongue out head sculpt. So the tongue out right there. You know, his last expression was him yelling, but this one has him yelling with the tongue out right there. So even a more crazed head sculpt, he still has the bandana. Just like his last figure has a bandana, we are going to get into the comparisons, of course. But this one looks good, too. I like the tongue out. I think the sculpt's nice. The likeness is definitely there. You know, his eyes are kind of very iconic. So I think that matches up pretty well. I think both of them look really, really good. So there is Ortiz's head sculpts. And then for his interchangeable hands, he has his gloved hands, which are black, and they feature like a tiger eye print. It kind of looks like an orange and white tiger eyes right there. Kind of reminds me of the Auburn Tigers a little bit there. So that's kind of what I'm picking up. You got like some nice details going on there. I want to say this is the Dustin Rhodes sculpt for the gloves, but they look good. They're just solid black. You know, they're weapon wielding or I wouldn't quite say mic holding. I don't think he could hold a mic. He might be able to, but I think this is more weapon wielding hands. And then we have like his Matt Hardy sort of Doctor Strange casting spell type hands where he's kind of like Hadley Diddley Budley. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like, I, I don't even know, but you can call him clawing hands. I don't, I don't really know the nice, you know, the right thing there. Got a little paint chip on the back right there. But these hands are nice, and you could also put these on Santana if you wanted to. And then for Santana, we have his two interchangeable head sculpts. You have the headband accessory here. You have the headband one in solid black. The likeness is really good on this. It looks very similar to his last one, but it is a bit different. His hair has grown out. He's got, like, his curly hair popping through the top there. I really like this, but I also like this one right here where he's yelling, and I think they both look really, really good, man. Really good head sculpts. Both have the black bandana on there. He 
he is yelling right here. So this is our first expressive Santana head sculpt as last time it was just him kind of like pissed off. But now we have two different options there, which I really like. So Santana is looking good with both of his head sculpts. And then out of the packaging, he does have his one black glove and his other Puerto Rico flag glove, I do believe. And both of these look really good. They're just solid fists. They have the nice colors on it. You got the Puerto Rican flag and you also have the black glove. And then he has his shooter hands or his pull the trigger hands here, which we did see on his last figure. So that's pretty cool right there. We Again, we are going to do like the comparisons, but both of these hands look good there. But it's a pretty nice breath of fresh air to see these accessories with the Proud and Powerful compared to, you know, other figures. We don't, it's not like we get a ton of accessories with a lot of other figures. So seeing these here is very nice to see. So getting into Santana, man, starting off the head sculpt, we already took a look at it, but again, the likeness is there. I appreciate it. I don't have any issues with it. You guys can let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below. Same torso as we saw with Santana last time, right? He's got his tattoos on his chesticle right here. Same tattoo on the left shoulder. No tattoos going on over there. On the back, there's not much going on. He does have his elbow pad on the left arm. Going down, just like his other figure as well, he does have his overalls pulled down right there. You do get like the nice camo going on. It is flat green on the top, so they don't have like the camo pattern underneath, but you do get this nice like hunter orange going on, and it does wrap around. It says Santana on the little, uh, it says Santana on the loop right there. Other side doesn't have anything, but I love the camo going on on the pants, man. It's kind of difficult to see, but if you pull this up, you guys can see the camo going on around. Really like these this tights mold or these lo like loose baggy type tights. You got the orange green. Got the hunter orange on the bottom near the knees. You got the black knee pads, black kick pads, similar to his last figure. The lower legs are completely black there, but it kind of blends in nice, you know, when you're looking at the full figure. And he does have the gold details on the shoes right there, kind of similar to the Sammy Guevara figure or the Series 6 uh, Ray Phoenix little running change or whatever. But there's the Santana. I like it. I think it's nice. I think it has more details than his last figure, which we will do in the comparison shot. But I like the Santana a lot. I think it looks nice. And again, you guys can see the gloves on the figure there. Really pops off the colors and brings it all together. But but bringing in Ortiz right here, again, we already covered the head sculpt, so I'm going to go down into the chesticle. You guys will see that he does have his tattoo across his chest. This is a molded on singlet right there, so that's pretty cool. And one thing that I love that they did with this figure is, is really cool. So last time, you guys remember, he did have the Inner Circle t-shirt on there. This time, he doesn't. So you get to see the full tattoo in its entirety on the other side. You also have his tattoo. And one thing you'll notice on his other figure is that uh, they actually continued the tattoo down under the sleeve. So you guys can kind of see where that comes from right there. And they gave him beefier arms, actually. Look at that. The arms were skinnier last time. Didn't even notice that. So that's pretty cool to see. A nice detail to point out right there. Uh, we will get into the rest of the figure there. But he does have his overalls. Unlike Santana, he has his overalls pulled up. And they look really good, man. Really, really good. I like the camo pattern going on. You do have Ortiz down the side. You got Powerful on this side. And you got the little buckles and clips sculpted in there. It is a rubber material. But if you pop this off, this is how I thought they were going to do the Sting figure. So you guys will see here that the, the overalls overlaps over the waist, right? And it makes like one clean little unit. You have the belt sculpted on part of that upper part of the overalls. And then on the lower portion, it has that same like kind of overlap deal, but it doesn't look as bad as the Sting. I feel like the Sting just looks weird. So you guys can see here when you clasp it together, it covers up that gap and uh, it just doesn't look as dumb. It looks like it, it it looks more complete to me. I don't know if you guys can, can see that as well, but I love the way that comes together. I just like the way the camo looks and it's all meshed together. You have the camo orange, yellow, and black towel coming down the side. You do get some really nice details here. This this like one of one sculpting that Jazzwares does for the AEW figures is so cool because you have like the little pockets over here for the cargo pants. You even have like the buckle right here with the, the you have the buckle with the hunter orange over here. Just some great details with these pants. This is a new sculpt too. This is not the Matt Hardy pants. These are brand new pants. You can easily tell they're not as like baggy or wide as the Matt Hardy pants. And then you also have his orange shoes down here with the black tips which are really cool. So really nice figure man. If you want to see articulation like his head can do all the different things it needs to. It does have the ball hinge. He has pretty great articulation to have this overall piece. So the overalls don't sculpt, but you can actually remove this and have just a black tank top look for your Ortiz. He has a beautiful split C. He has the upper thigh cut and the double jointed knee, so he has a good ankle pivot. His shoulders can go above 90. You get the full rotation up here, which is very tight. You got the double jointed arms. You get the wrist hinge up and down, and it does rotate. The Ortiz is fantastic, man. Oh my goodness. Just great details with this guy. I love both, but I think the Ortiz may be slightly better than the Santana over here. The Santana is very, very similar to his last one. Again, head articulation is pretty much the same. He gets the same articulation as far as, you know, typical AEW double-jointed arms. You get the above 90. 
you do get a good ab crunch in there because it does dip into the thing there. He gets the great split seat from the ball joints. You get the upper thigh cut. You get the double jointed knee. You get the kick pad rotation. And you get the ankle pivot, which we've seen. But now that we've covered Santana and Ortiz, man, let's get into your Santana and Ortiz figure comparisons. So for your Santana and Ortiz comparisons, guys, here's the unmatched Series 2 Santana and Ortiz up next to your unrivaled Series 4 Santana and Ortiz. And I love the upgrades. I think that the skin tone is better. It's more saturated. It looks more natural. I think that it's a lot more accurate. It really, really looks good. I love the tattoo details that we're getting on both of these as well. You know, you don't get all the... All right, one thing that I just noticed because I said tattoos is that Ortiz is missing his forearm tattoo. So that is weird. Unless he got that removed, which I doubt that's the case. It looks like he uh, is missing that tattoo right there, man. Look at that. Completely missing the tattoo. And on the back of the packaging, he has the tattoo. And I'm pretty sure it's not like he got this afterwards. You know what I'm saying? It's not like he wore this and then afterwards he got this. I mean, I guess that's possible, but I don't think that is the case. Kind of an easy fix. You could just get an extra one of these and then switch the arms or switch the upper torsos. Or you could take the lower arm and put it on there. You will be missing some of the details of the tattoo. Like, it won't be completely full there. But you could, you could switch the joint and the lower arm there and put that over there. But that's kind of disappointing, man. Missing the tattoo details right there. But I still like this figure overall better in the overalls and the camo. I just think it, like, I like the head sculpts better. And I just like the overall gears better. I think this has better likeness. I like the hair grown out better. You get, you know, more details on the tights over here and stuff. So, I don't know. I'm, I, I like the new ones better than the old ones. You guys can let me know what you think down in the comment section below. But he is missing his tattoo right there on the forearm. But I think that pretty much wraps up our Unmatched Series 2 collection. Santana and Ortiz figures, man. Really enjoyed these. Again, we're not going to be ranking the set in this video for Unmatched Series 2. I'm trying out a new video where we cover the entire wave and we break down the best head sculpt, the worst head sculpt, uh, my favorite figures in the set, ranking the set, the best articulation. And we're going to kind of dive into these waves differently here as I'm going to try to do three different reviews, breaking up the entire set, giving each pair of figures their own video to get really get those details in there, showcase those figures in their entirety, and then we will move on to the different breakdowns of the set, you know, all those different things. Just wait for that video. It should be a really fun video. It should drop tomorrow where we cover everything about it. And then coming up this week, as we approach Christmas, we are going to get into our top tens and our, our best figures, our worst figures, and kind of recapping all of 2021 for wrestling action figures between WWE and AEW. We're going to get into the collection videos. We're going to get into the room tours, and it should be a really, really exciting time here at the end of the year, man, because we get to break into all of those things and kind of just review our year as it was for 2021, man. But that is going to wrap up today's video. I think these are must-grabs, honestly. I think they're better than their first versions. If you guys don't want a proud and powerful from the inner circle and you really want to have kind of like a look that is their own if you wanted to run them as their own this is the look to get i like that you get the pissed off and the yelling head sculpts as well as the grimacing kind of just straight face and you get the two looks you get the camo gear which i really like i don't know these are just overall better quality and better overall figures of santana and ortiz and since i'm a big fan of these guys i think that these are better these are definitely better and i think you guys will enjoy them, man but that is going to wrap up today's video man thank you guys so very much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy let me know your thoughts and everything down in the comment section below of these figures do you like their series four unrivaled figures better or the series two unmatched collection but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys and i'll see you guys in the next video don't cross the line like me when uh i don't i don't know man i, I everyone crosses the line sometimes you cross the line i've been